Kumea Musun led administration. The new studio, well, which would house the digital equipment, would also serve as a catalyst towards the achievement of the digitization policy in line with international standards in the broadcasting industry. There are also um, some of the other projects expected to be commissioned today is the judicial complex um, along Kobakwe Road, the amphitheatre in the city centre, and the renovated old governor's office at Ukilewo. Uh, others are the 250 bedded ultra modern hospital. Um, this is a 250 bedded hospital with five radiology theatres. 10-bedded adult intensive care, which apparently is the biggest in Nigeria, a six-bedded ICU for the young, a consulting room, maternal and child unit wards, a dialysis unit, accident and emergency unit. Uh, these are just to mention some of the, the few qualities in the facility. Is the Organ State Television OGTV? Um, the president today is commissioning a world-class digital studio, four of them, which has been put in place by the Organ State government for the state television OGTV in Ajebo Road, Abekuta. Well, the chairman of OGTV board of directors. He had earlier said the new four studios is a promise made and is a promise fulfilled by the state governor, Senator Ibukune Amosun, their administration. The new studio, the four of them, which would house the digital equipment, would also serve as a catalyst towards the achievement of the digitization policy in line with international standards and the broadcasting unit. What you can see is uh, the building where the four new studios are located.
This is our legacy project. This one is even different. Just like what you said, the last time, the only one we had was 1982, commissioned by the late stage himself, Robert Now you have, we are privileged, we are honored that you have commissioned this new one. And very recently, the project is going to come. And so, once upon a time, on the uh, 25th of May, year of our Lord 2019, President Muhammad Buhari, the President of Nigeria, commissioned this beautiful station. What we saw there was the President Muhammadu Buhari sitting with the Ogun State Governor Ibukunle Amosun. Some of the projects, more of the projects expected to be commissioned today. As you can see, I believe that's <laughs> along Kobakwe Road, an amphitheater in the city center, and the renovated old governor's office. Others are the 250 bedded ultra modern hospital, uh, there's an international airport in Iwikura local government, and the Ogun State Television digital studio along Ajabo Road, as we've just seen. The state government had announced the cancellation of environmental sanitation exercise for the month of May, slated for today to accommodate the scheduled visit of the president for commissioning of some legacy projects across the state. Hospital, an ultra modern hospital with 250 beds, uh, with five radiology theatres, 10 bedded adult intensive care units, which apparently is the biggest in Nigeria, a six bedded ICU for the young, a consulting room, maternal and child unit wards, dialysis unit, accident and emergency unit, bedhead unit, and five oxygen pipes. We'll also see as we've seen the commissioning of a world-class digital studio put in place, the Ogun State Television, OGTV. The chairman of the board of directors had said earlier that the new four studios is a promise made and a promise fulfilled by the state governor, Senator Ibukunle Amosun. The new studio, studio which houses the digital equipment, would also serve as a catalyst towards the achievement of the digitization standards in the broadcast industry.
water, including recreational facilities, to make the occupants comfortable. Houses are constructed. It's such that if they want to sleep there tonight, they will move in there with their bed, they will sleep. That is the way it is everywhere in the world, and that is the way it should be in the state. MTR Gardens is another giant strike taken by Governor Ibitume Amosun to ease the housing problem being faced by the people. The Sherry is where you find a lot of people who are middle income earners, upper income earners, who don't want to live in the pressure of Lagos, but want all the services that they get in Lagos. New Marco City is located along Lagos Sibado Expressway. It is a developed site which is already having pilot housing units with attractive layouts and good road network. Today, New Marco is one of our biggest success stories. It's sold out and we're doing 1,000 housing units, 1,000 affordable housing units in New Marco City. Houses starting from as low as 6 million naira, topping out about 12 million naira, are being built there. The old gateway annex, now Mitro's residences, was redesigned and upgraded into a five-star hotel is another success story of the Amosun's government. The Mitro's residences located at Ibarra Abeokuta was furnished with the state-of-the-art facilities and good road network. New Dune Gardens is another estate of 36 units of two-bedroom semi-detached bungalow designed and developed with every facility in place. New Dune Terraces is a 45 unit of three bedroom detached bungalow is another success story of Senator Ibikune Amosun's administration. Another achievement of the current administration in the area of housing is Value View Estate located at Ukiata area of Abeokuta. We realized that even with the best of intentions, many of the allottees are unable to afford the houses. And here is a, a, a situation where there is already a 30% discount or subsidy on those homes, and yet it's still difficult. So we invited a, a consultant in who did an affordability assessment for us, for the staff of the housing corporation, all 200 plus. The outcome of that showed us exactly what people can afford to pay for a home today. Based on that, we designed a home very basic home, incremental housing. 94 units of one bedroom apartment was delivered under four months with additional 10 flats of the same type. 12 units of four bedroom duplexes were also developed within Ibarra Housing Estate near Ogun State Broadcasting Corporation at Beokuta. We've been able to achieve a lot. We have a lot of firsts that we have been able to, to, to do. It's, it's a process. And I think we, we've done very well to, to do what we can. And now it's time to hand over the baton to somebody else. The administration also established an estate named after President Muhammad Buhari with a large expanse of land and social amenities like road, water, electricity to make life meaningful for the people of the state.
Governor of Bikuli Amosu in the area of infrastructure development began in 2013, a year after he was sworn in with the construction of Ibarra flyover through Itaoko Totoro Akinubade Road as a pilot scheme. When we ask you to vote for change, this is the type of a change that we are asking for. I do a time to say, come up to one. I do a time to say, but I don't care. I can't even go another long way. More than your full amino, because I thank God for being a part and parcel of this. Abiola Way, Olon Shogo, Ashiro Road. Ake Adaton, Onikolobo Obantoko, Moriamo Olorombo Road, Pansheke Adigbe Road, Agoba Lafenwa Enugada Adedotun are also not left out. Shakon, Itoku, Mokola, Kuto, NNPC Junction are some of the roads constructed by the current administration in Ogun State. What we've done are there for all to see. We've done so many. Uh, and I don't want to sound repetitive. We've done just so many jobs. Um, within the state capital area, yeah, in the Jebode, in Shagamu, 